Now you gotta love the Gypsy. It's small, lightweight and utilitarian. Yes, it's been gone from our shores for 20 years, but that doesn't mean that the love is lost. In fact, it still wins championships to this day in the off-road scene. And unless you've been living under a rock, Suzuki now make this, the Suzuki Jimny. And now that it might be coming to the Indian shores, we thought that we should actually see what is it all about. Welcome to the Drivers Hub. My name is Bhavneet Vaswani and this is a Suzuki Jimny. Now, when this fourth generation Jimny was launched in 2018, it was an absolute hit with its retro reissue design and hints of badass off-roader looking like a scaled down G-Wagon. It definitely looks like a proper off-roader, but it is not just a poser because as you can see, there's enough ground clearance for, for it to touch my knees. The suspension travel is long enough for days and you've got body cladding all over so that the metal is not scratched up when you're off trails. So don't get me wrong, this is definitely an off-road machine. And there are some nods to the Gypsy as well. Most noticeable is the bonnet line and the A-pillar area. Of course, the overall shape of the car is very boxy just like the Gypsy. The tail light placement isn't on the fenders or on the bootlet but rather integrated into the body cladding just like the Gypsy. And again, staying true to its roots, the Jimny just like the Gypsy is a two-door car. Very cool. Now, the interior of the Jimny is of course leap years ahead of the Gypsy but the overall vibe is pretty much the same. It is of a pretty extreme off-roader with very little modernity to it. Like the switch gear all over which is mainly plastic, you will be able to recognize it from other Maruti cars and you will also be able to notice that the seats are less snug and just more comfortable for a wafty ride. In terms of the interior, there is quite a lot of light coming out from these really big windows which do a very good job at masking the cramped space inside which is the only uh, complaint that I would have of the interior everything is pretty nice you get a 7 inch infotainment uh, system uh, automatic climate control and uh, pretty much that is it in terms of modern necessities but this is an off-road car and that's what you're going to be doing with it that being said the Jimny definitely has some really nifty equipment when it comes to its off-road toolbox it gets hill descent control and hill hold control a off-road gearbox with three different ratios four high four low and two high just like most real SUVs the Jimny is based on a ladder frame chassis which is much more rigid than ever and of course aids to its fantastic off-road capabilities. The suspension is a 3-link rigid axle suspension with coil springs which allows a 210mm ground clearance and an approach angle of 37 degrees and departure angle of 49 degrees. All of this is combined with Suzuki's all-grip four-wheel drive system for optimum grip at all times. Now come to the back side of the car, you can see that you've got a spare wheel and when you open the boot. You've got no space. This pretty much is 85 liters of space. A Mazda MX-5 has 90 liters of space. So that take, like, take that information as you would like. But when you drop the seats, you now have a two-seater car with 850 liters of boot space. So it's either your two children or your stuff from IKEA. Now, under the hood, you get only one option, which is a petrol 1.5 liter four cylinder, which is longitudinally mounted, pushes around 102 bhp, 130 newton meters of torque at 4000 rpm, and has a top speed of around 145 kilometers an hour. That is not that special, nor is it that fast, but what is special about this car is that this has a gearbox that is a four speed auto with three settings you've got a uh, four high four low and two high so you can definitely take this off road and it's definitely going to be very capable at handling whatever terrain you can throw at it 
Now there's no denying that the Jimny sounds like a really nice package for the Indian urban jungle. With its really small size and very good ground clearance, it definitely can do a good job in our Indian roads. And if you're actually going to be trailing trails and going off-road with this car, the 4x4 system and the three differential ratios are going to be having your back really well. Now, if this car launches in India soon, hopefully, this would be the most affordable off-road entry into our country. But that is a very grey area because one of my friends actually wanted to buy one of these in the UK and the dealership told them that it's going to take at least a year to get this car. So we do not know how high the demand is in India for this to actually come to our shores. I mean, it's being built here. But let's see when does this car come out. Do let us know when do you think the car is going to be coming out and let us know your thoughts on the new Jimny. Till then, see you in the next one.